Hello everybody, this is Calvin Corey with Pixelaria Studios. Today we're going to be doing just a quick tutorial on how to bake textures in Blender. Now the model that you're looking at right here is a model you can just purchase online. It's called Allied Fleets Hanger, created by Skynet 3020. And you can, you can get that at TurboSquid or a number of other places. We're using this model in a, in a short film that we're creating right now. And so I'm going to switch to a camera inside just so you can kind of see a view from the inside. And I'm, I'll show you some storyboards that we're using it for. So we've got a bunch of robots in there and an EMP goes off and, and uh, it's pretty neat film. It's actually about a bunch of kids that are telling bedtime stories and then they, you end up seeing them inside of the story. And so what we did for this model is we, we changed all of the textures and all of the UV, UV maps associated with each of the objects. And so now that I've got new textures created for each of these objects, and those, those textures are made out of sometimes mix, blending different images together, uh, putting different color and, and, and uh, saturation uh, settings on them, uh, contrast settings, things like that. I want to render them out into a single new texture image for each object. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new screen layout called UV Baking. So I'm going to duplicate the default screen layout and I'm going to retitle this UV Baking. And then on this new screen layout I'm going to split the 3D viewport uh, area into two. So I'm going to right click right on the edge of this line, split the area, choose where I'm going to put the new line, and then I'm going to, and then it basically duplicates that into two, uh, two different windows of the 3D viewport, the same, the same view. So down here in, I'm going to select UV image editor. Okay. Okay. Next, I'm going to go back into the 3D viewer. Here, I'm going to press 0 to get to my camera. And I'm going to select the object the, whose texture I want to bake out. In this case, uh, the object that I'm selecting uh, is, is something that I've called hanger, uh, what am I calling this here? Hanger vent shafts. Okay. And there's a number of them here. I think in the original they were intended to be doors, but but in the sizing that I've that I've created for this particular film, I've now created vent shafts out of them. Um, so now that I've got the object selected, I'm going to tab into edit mode, and I'm going to press A twice to make sure that I've got all of the vertices selected. Then in the properties area, I'm going to go to the, the uh, data tab, down to UV maps, and I'm going to create a new UV map for this object. And then I double click and, and create a new title for it. I'm going to call it UV Baked. Then making sure that my hanger vent shafts object is still selected, I'm going to go into the UV editing window and I'm going to create a new image. I'm going to call this Hanger Vent Shafts dash 4K dot texture. Okay. And so what it's showing me right now is the original UV map or the original UV map that was created for this particular object. That's what it's showing me right now. And the way that I've got it set up, it's actually much larger than the image because I was using a repeated image in it. Um, what I need to do now is create a new UV or unwrap a new UV that's going to function with this particular new UV map, this UV bake map. And so I'm going to, it, here in this window, in the 3D view window, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to press the, I'm going to press U and do Smart UV Project. And that's basically going to fit all of the different objects into a single panel, a single image. Okay. If you want to try different ways of fitting it in there, you can go down here to UV, 
and you can do pack islands. You can also just press control P and it will try to refit everything so that it all fits in there better and looks nicer. With the UVs mapped to the new image, I'm now going to go back into the properties area and into the render tab down here to bake. And then there's a I can select the bake mode that I want to bake out onto this new image. And so there's a number of selections there. In this case, I'm just going to choose textures. I just want the straight textures. And when you choose texture mode, it will it will mix all of the uh, it will basically mix all of the, the uh, texture layers that you have in the textures tab over here. Oops. If you have multiple textures here, it's going gonna, it's gonna to blend them all together just according to your settings that you have in the textures tab. But what it won't include is any normals, uh, uh, any normals maps, bump maps, things like that. Uh, it's not going to include any, any sort of uh, uh, height differences or changes that you've created artificially. Um, but it will give you the straight texture and so with that selected I'm just going to go ahead and select bake. And in this particular case I'm, I'm creating um, very very uh, high resolution images. They're, they're 4K images and so the time that it's going to take to bake is going to be a little longer than normal. But if I tab out of edit mode, you can see that these textures are baking uh, according to this new UV, the, these new UVs, uh, this new UV map that I've created. And I think I might speed this up just so that you're not sitting there waiting for it because that's kind of annoying. <laughs> Okay, now with the new UVs rendered out, we have one final step down here in the menu. You'll see there's a there's a asterisk next to the word image here. That's telling us that this particular UV map or this particular image, this texture image, has not been saved yet. So if you select Save as Image or F3, then you can select what type of image you want to save it as over here in the left corner. Um, I'm going with an RGB and I'm pumping up the quality a little bit here to 85. And then we just save as the new image. And there you have it. Tabbing out of edit mode, you can see you've created a new UV image here. Um, I'm going to go through and also create other layers that we will, we'll want to have, such as our normals layer to give it more, uh, more of a textured finish, more uh, heights, height and, and low differences uh, in, the, uh, in the image itself to make it look more realistic. But that is basically how you bake textures in Blender. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. This is Calvin Corey again with Pixelaria Studios. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot.